Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since I've been here. I've been having a lot of issues and things going on with my um my tablet and whatnot for us recording videos and the um the volume was acting up and whatnot and you see this right here. We yeah, uh, we know this old school. But like they always say you got to go back to what you know. Yeah, I'm for the wireless and for this and that, but when they wanna act up and act the fool, I ain't got time to deal with it, so kick it back to the side and go back to what we know that actually work. So like I say it's been almost like a, it's been over a month since I last uploaded a video and stuff and and y'all I'm looking at my eyebrows. I really am looking at my eyebrows. I have a little bit of a little foundation on and stuff like that so my um little lago spots don't pop out, you know, just pure so like a dominant, you know, white patch and stuff on my face. So I got like a little foundation on the help um take off from the the, the 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 glow of it or whatever the brightness of it. God forbid the patch start glowing. I ain't mean to say glow. Jesus that's a whole another whole issue right there. But anyway, like I said I was looking at my eyebrows. And I said, I know people say your eyebrows are not twins. Okay, I believe that. But Jesus, they should look like they belong to the same family line. I mean, they may not be twins, but they should be blood kids some kind of way. And sometimes my eyebrows, they look like, what the hell, you know? So, but anyway, basically today I just want to come and just, you know, have a little conversation with y'all. I mean, I'll be, when I be out and about, you know, taking care of business, running errands, whatnot, and you go inside, you know, like some of these stores, department stores, gas stations, grocery stores, and I'm standing in line, and I'll just, i cashier, I, cashier, I've done cashiering. And I just really feel for the cashier. I really do. Because you have some of these customers that comes in a store and they're just so obnoxious. They're just so rude and disrespectful. And especially down here in the South, it is really disrespectful here in the South. I mean, and you know what's all this, this stigma is coming out, coming in from? Because I'm mean, still living in those old. 1960 way, especially when you're dealing with these customers, these people who is, well, they buy in their 60s and 70s and 80s and all now, now, I grant you, yes, some of them are very nice, very lovely, and then you got some of them that if you could, mm. if you just could, and really there, you know, really there is no need for it, I understand Look, you may not like everyone for whatever reason. Maybe you have a reason. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. You may be going off on what somebody else say about a person. And you think it applies to you. But really, when you enter into any place of business, and I know customers is the one that pays, you know, their employee check. But everyone is either, you are either, a customer or you have a customer service not either one of those two titles you are and if you are in customer service you are both a customer service employee as well as a customer because you when you go into another store yourself to give that person your business okay so that people come to you to give you their business now just because someone gives you their business and they're actually putting money in their drawer and their drawer is actually going on. you know that don't mean you have a right to treat that cashier any kind of way you don't have to like them you know what i'm saying but you at least can respect them if they're respecting you and showing you respect greeting you in a respectful manner, you can do the same. Now, whatever issues you have going on with you that day, 
before you got to that store, or before you got off of work, or before you left, left home. You don't take it out on that cashier. They have nothing to do with it. And if a rule or regulation that they are following goes is, is not agreeing with you for whatever reason, you don't take it out on that cashier. You don't take it out on a customer representative. You take it to the boss, the next person in line above them, and you voice your concerns. Just like you have the the bravery, you have bravery in your heart. You 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 strong enough, bold enough to go tell the boss if you got a complaint against someone. And you use that same bravery when you want to go and complain against them. But people don't do that now, do they? They don't, y'all don't do that, do they? You'll go and you come into the cash, you come into the, to the um, cashier and then you're complaining about, oh, well, how come y'all have to do this? Oh, oh, how come we can't do that? I've been doing that. You tell me, you can kind of go back there and check with the boss and see what she's saying. Oh, y'all, they'll, they'll look and they'll look at them. They'll look at the boss. They'll look at the manager or whoever is on duty and they'll be like, oh, never mind. Never mind. Really? Let me come on the same side of the counter where you at. And let me go back there. Because y'all might be seeing something I ain't seeing. You know, half the time I don't see so well. So let me come back there and see what y'all looking at. Because when I look at them, I just look at them and I just see regular individuals like everyone else. Human beings. And you cut their feet red, hopefully. Who do you see? Then I said customers. Customer service. Can be the devil. I mean, it can be the devil. 